The deep sea is a vast world of cold, dark mysteries. At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, the seafloor drops deep into the abyss of another world. A place of faceless creatures with deadly bites, shaped by the trenches' intense pressure, unbearably cold temperatures and complete darkness. It is one of the most mysterious and least explored places on Earth. The Mariana Trench is a colossal scar on the Pacific Ocean floor, stretching 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. This immense fracture plunges into a pitch-black abyss culminating in the Challenger Deep, the Earth's deepest known point, lying 11,033 meters beneath the ocean surface. It is part of a vast network of deep tectonic scars that carve across the ocean floor. The Mariana Trench marks the boundary between two converging tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the smaller Mariana Plate. As the two plates collide, the denser Pacific Plate is forced underneath the lighter Mariana Plate. This process creates a deep trench as the Pacific Plate bends and sinks into the Earth's mantle. The subduction process is ongoing, which means the trench is constantly being shaped and reshaped over millions of years. The movement of these plates is also responsible for volcanic activity in the region. In fact, the nearby Mariana Islands were born from volcanic activity fueled by this same tectonic movement. Descending into the trench leads to the Hadal Zone, a region aptly named for Hades, the Greek underworld, this is a realm of relentless darkness, freezing temperatures, acidic waters, and crushing pressures. A world where survival is an extraordinary feat. For centuries, this zone was thought to be a lifeless void, an unreachable frontier. Yet, in the 19th century, explorers began to challenge these assumptions. There was growing interest in the scientific community to explore the mysteries of the ocean, Knowledge was limited and questions about the existence of life at great ocean depths and the physical properties of the deep sea were driving forces behind the expedition. Charles Wyville Thompson, a prominent Scottish naturalist and marine biologist, was one of the key figures advocating for a systematic study of the deep ocean. His earlier work on smaller expeditions had revealed mysterious findings that suggested Life existed at depths beyond what was previously believed possible. Thompson, along with his colleague William Benjamin Carpenter, proposed a dedicated expedition to the Royal Society and to the British Admiralty. They were provided with a wooden ship originally built for warfare. Its name was the HMS Challenger. The ship was extensively modified for scientific research with the laboratories, storage for samples, and scientific equipment that was innovative for its time. The ship set sail from Portsmouth, England on December 21st, 1872. The journey was planned to last for three and a half years, covering approximately 68,000 nautical miles across the world's oceans. The team of scientists were particularly interested in disproving the Azoic theory, which claimed that life could not exist below 1,800 feet, 550 meters, due to the lack of light and extreme pressures. During the Challenger expedition, the lead line sounding technique was used, which involved lowering a weighted line marked with depth measurements to the ocean floor. The depth was determined by the length of the line needed to reach the bottom. On March 23, 1875, while sailing the Western Pacific Ocean near the Mariana Islands, the Challenger conducted a sounding that recorded a depth of 4,275 fathoms, approximately 8,184 meters. This depth was far greater than what previous soundings had revealed. That was when we realized the ocean's depths were far greater and more mysterious than previously imagined. It marked the beginning of a deeper understanding of the Earth's oceans. Decades later, the pursuit of knowledge continued to push the boundaries of exploration, leading to one of the most daring dives in history. In 1960, Don Walsh, a US Navy lieutenant, and Jacques Picard, a Swiss oceanographer, 
descended into the Mariana Trench aboard a deep diving submersible designed specifically to reach extreme ocean depths. The descent through the Challenger Deep took nearly five hours. As they descended, Walsh and Picard experienced complete darkness after passing through the sunlit upper layers of the ocean. The temperature dropped significantly and the pressure outside the vessel increased to over 1,000 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. Upon reaching the seafloor, Walsh and Picard spent about 20 minutes observing their surroundings. Contrary to expectations of a lifeless abyss, they discovered that life could exist even in the darkest pits of the Earth. Despite the extreme conditions, this deep-sea world is anything but lifeless. It's a realm teeming with life forms so strange and alien that they seem almost otherworldly. From bizarre fish to terrifying predators, the trench is home to creatures that continue to amaze and mystify scientists. The barrel eye fish is an elusive inhabitant of the deep sea, known for its transparent head and upward facing eyes. These eyes, enclosed in a fluid filled shield, allow it to peer through the darkness and spot prey. Its unique anatomy gives it an eerie appearance as if it's always watching from beneath its translucent dome. The barrel eye fish drifts silently in the depths, using its exceptional vision to track the faintest signs of life in the shadows, making it a quiet but effective predator in its mysterious underwater world. But perhaps the most disturbing of all deep sea creatures is the Black Sea Devil Anglerfish, a master of deception it has a bioluminescent lure dangling from its head. The light against the pitch black attracts its prey. When unsuspecting victims draw near, the large sharp teeth of the anglerfish snap shut with terrifying speed. Its body is almost ghostly with translucent flesh and needle-like teeth. The deep sea dragonfish is equally disturbing, using similar hunting techniques as it quietly navigates its surroundings, relying on its sharp teeth and bioluminescent lure to catch prey. This fish uses the faint glow from its chin to attract unsuspecting creatures, which it then captures with a quick, precise strike. With large eyes adapted to the darkness, the dragonfish moves quickly hunting in the deep with both stealth and skill. And as if the known creatures aren't eerie enough, the Mariana Trench has also inspired ancient myths and modern legends about what might still be lurking in its depths. Over the centuries, sailors and explorers have reported sightings of enormous snake-like creatures, often in remote and deep waters. They describe the serpentine creatures as being of immense size, capable of reaching lengths of several hundred feet. Their bodies are described as flexible and muscular, allowing them to move through the water with great speed and power. These creatures are said to be apex predators of the deep, with no other sea creature able to compete. Some theories suggest that these serpentine creatures could be remnants of an ancient species that predates known marine life, surviving in the trench since prehistoric times. These stories often blend fact with fiction. While they capture the imagination, the implausibility of such large creatures surviving undetected in a relatively small ecosystem make these theories more a matter of myth than reality. The Mariana Trench and the Challenger Deep, its extreme depths and strange inhabitants, expand our understanding of life on Earth. Creatures like the barrel eye fish and the black sea devil demonstrate the incredible adaptability of life in even the harshest of conditions. Beyond the known species, the trench fuels our imagination with tales of colossal sea serpents and other mysterious beings. Each dive into the depths revealed just how much we have yet to discover. A powerful reminder of the secrets still hidden within our world.